one. There we go. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've been having a little issue with my um, bandicam. Anyway, what is up? Shadow Steel here with a trackside pl let's play. Uh, I'm gonna have to start up Steam for a second, guys, because for some. Oh, by the way, if you notice my background, it's a My Little Pony background. I, my original name used to be Apple Dash, which was this couple right here. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's. Three, two, one. Hey, what is up, guys? Shadow Steel here with a trackside Let's Play. We're going to be playing Trains a New Era here for today. And, um,. For one, this game is in its beta stages. It's no, known as Trains of New Era Community Edition. I got the deluxe edition of this so-called Community Edition. Community Edition meaning only it's in beta, as it says here in this news report, which was dated February 2nd, 2015. So anyway, we're going to... A little bit of warning ahead of time, guys. Please turn your brightness down. If you have your brightness anything above 50, please turn it down. The reason is that the route we're going to be doing today is very, very, very bright. It's just nothing but white. <laughs> so I want to get you guys to, you know, turn it down. Turn it down, don't you smidge. Alright, let's get this game going. Kaiwatha is the front. Just clapping my hands here. Alrighty. So let's get the started with our first deluxe edition uh, route. This is the Milwaukee Road, Avery Industrial. Industrial. We're going to be doing this little route here. You can see it's all snow, and as a result, we're, you're going to have to turn your brightness down. If not, I warn you, it's going to hurt your eyes. Drink my coffee. Always start my day out with a cup of great value coffee from Walmart. No, it's really made by Walmart. <laughs> it's made by Walmart. Our family gets nothing but generics. So. Alright, it's going to take a while, but that's typical of all rail sims. People are complaining about both load times and graphics, and this game is only in its beta. Who knows, it might get better over time. My computer's in mid-range, so it's not going to get too much better. Just in here, uh, click my new cam so I can see what the working position is. All right, uh, off centered here by a bit. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, that's good. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this game. Already three minutes in of my recording, and we are having issues. <laughs> this is a uh, track side let's play, so it's not going to be a very long series. Maybe a couple episodes, but eh. uh, as of right now, I'm working on my track side review of 
the Seattle and Carlisle's route. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but the hell if I know. It's by trains. You know, the company that did this. The, the, this. I pointed at the screen, but you can't see my hand, so. It's done by trains the, for their 2009 version, but I got it for trains 2012. Okay, here we go. Uh, the reason I'm doing this one is because of um, there is actually some interact interactivity with this um, route, as you'll see soon enough. We're gonna do cab mode for this run, which is not something I like to do on this route in particular. I think I'm gonna put something here or like sometime later it's just gonna have the technical difficulty music from um achievement hunter the da 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 Still waiting. <sighs> Man, this takes a while. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we are. Here's our locomotive. EF4 number E73. As I said before, turn down your bright turn down your brightness, guys. Uh, go to quick drive real quick and change the con controls. There we go. Throttle notch to one. Okay, this is the depot manager speaking. You have permission to take the show to the turntable. Just go ahead, but take care of the switches. Over. Happy that. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to have this mode. The train's already a little faster than I wanted it to go. Yeah, these EF4s are a bit fast. Cab mode, anyway. There's the F45. SD45. It's almost an F45, that's a Santa Fe and a Burlington Northern unit. I'm gonna go catch that train. Sit here and watch it. This route is bright. Make 
sure I'm centered on the camera here, guys. Sorry. Uh, there we go. That's better. Just stop truck there. Fiddling with the camera so much I can't focus. So I'm doing all this auto focusing. If I'm not looking directly into the camera, it's because I'm looking at the screen. Whoopsie. <laughs> Press 2 and you heard that ding. I wasn't selected on the game. Cab view for a second here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, there are multiple cab views in this uh, EF4, and they're all nice. They're these two outside views, especially, because you can actually switch cars a lot easier. Attention, the eastbound approach now. They are deciding and don't move onto the main track as long the train moves in over. Copy that. You know, I'm trying to interact with this game, even though I don't have a CB with me. This is not multiplayer, player, by the way. This is single player, as you saw. Uh, I'm just going to check my messages here. Uh, driver. <laughs> Alright, uh, slow down the cab. Yeah, um, we're going to be hooking up to that eastbound there. And, uh, yeah, looks like they're having a whole heavy hole. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got that music stuck in my head. I actually put that in because of the lo damn loading time. Loading time is. Uh, oh, Jesus. There we go. <laughs> to be honest, I wonder how many Let's Players actually use that music when they have technical difficulty. I know of one. But I don't know as many others. Come on, there we go. There we go. There we go. We are uh, lined up. Yeah, we're lined up. Now we're going to be hooking up to that eastbound, so. I'm going to sip a coffee here. Ugh, I'll finish that off. One of the nights, I, I like this cab view especially because, oh Jesus! <laughs> I did not see that coming. Apparently my head was chopped off. Okay. I like the swaying motion of the cabs. I just wish that these knob, these uh, dials and levers and stuff would move back and forth. That's the horn right there. I thought there was like an emergency button because of the big red button with H on it. I thought that was like a help button or something. Watch the train go by. <laughs> Finally 
snapped. Okay, now get the train back to the depot side in front of the train and wait for instructions. Over. Copy that. Alrighty, so we've got the train stopped for us so we can hook up to it. Uh, what do these switches do? Uh, gauge lights, field generator, rear lights, headlight dim. At least I think those will go there. Oh, I don't know if it goes It's the switch. Can I even switch it? I can't switch it. Boop! I'm out the window. Boop! I'm out of the train. Here we go. Here's our yeah. Here's our SD40 SAS twos or SD45. No, it's SD40 dash twos. Those are that's what those are. No, we're gonna be hooking up to locomotive number 184. Reason I press that, that's the reverse switching. Reverser, I guess. So now I'm going backwards. This is one of my favorite routes so far, including, well, most of all the US routes. US routes are pretty much my favorites. On this, these games, I never really play the foreign rounds, but I guess I'll play them for this trackside series just to get a feel for them. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is probably turn on Physic Physics X, which is the um, physics engine that helps the car sway back and forth more violently, I guess. So, one of the things with that, I, the reason I turned that off is because. For, hold on, I'll show you when. In fact, I'll pause this for a second. Uh, one of the things about this game is that you can switch between windows here on the actual start here. I'll go to the settings here and show you what I have for performance. This Fizz X simulation that's supposed to help with the um, like swaying cars and bouncing around and all that. I turned that off because I was having so many derailments when, during my games and it was causing a bit of lag and everything so with all that said I didn't really need it for a, a lot of it. The cars will still bounce back and forth but they won't do it as violently. Yeah, that was one. Of, I remember that was one of the key features of this game that I was really looking forward to, was that bouncing back and forth. It's, it's been so much of a treat now. You have permission to continue east. To blow your horn, ring the bell, and get out of here, man. Over. <laughs> Copy that. Um, 
I'm gonna pause it here, guys. Before I literally pause the video production. So, I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I had to go to the bathroom. Alright, well, let's get this going. Apparently our... <laughs> well, this is awkward. There we go. Alright, let's get going. Oh, I have the pan guys in the wrong position. <laughs> That's one thing about DCC mode. You can still drive a train while the panning graph's in the wrong position. slow the train down a bit so we don't have a issue with what's about to happen next. I've played this mission before so I know what's going to happen. sounding horns on these low parties.
Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. I'm trying to keep myself awake somehow. Alright, here we go with this spot again. I was gonna take a picture, but apparently that tends to crash the whole recording system. Some of those cars do have auto renumbering, I didn't notice that. It'll be a while before we can actually pick up some speed here, so... <sighs> but in the meantime, I think we'll be fine. Manager speaking. Please slow down now to 8 miles per hour. For a boot crew change, back here in Avery. Thanks. Over. Copy that. Alright, so this is going to take a while. The last train the car has to pass a certain point before the caboose crew change is complete.
to get the camera adjusted again. <laughs> Can I settle on a position? There we go. boring, but we'll try and think of something for you guys. It'll take a while for this train to speed up, mainly because it's so long and heavy. I think there's a way to check the weight and tow. Check. Yep. Weight and tow, wow. 8.5, nearly 8.5 thousand, thousand tons. That's a lot. Oh, one of, there's a feature about this game where you can actually uh, toggle vehicle names so you can actually put them on mega routes. Uh, it doesn't work too well on this, but <laughs> it's a nice thing to use. too bad per se, it's just the fact that it's so damn bright. There are ditch lights on this little world of
trains have always lulled me to, stri to sleep, whether they've been in video format re or, um, or, did or like games and stuff. So, you see me nodding off because I'm all tired. take a nap after this. to commentate. I just like, well, I guess there is one thing I can commentate is that this local, these kinds of local, one of the EF4s EF that um, have once roamed the Milwaukee Road, uh, they are still around. A handful of them are in museums. One of them is operational. The one that's operational is South Shore Electric Company's number 803. And it, run, and it runs on the, the 
Illinois Railroad Museum alongside 6.30, so it's 16.30, and it's, and it's brought out on occasion, on, on occasion, to uh, haul little f fan excursions and stuff. Well, we'll give it a little bit of points, and I guess that will be our ending note for this run. We are up five, up to 500 points right now, guys. And, um, eventually we're gonna finish this little fucker. And, um, anyway, like and comment down below if you like this video. No trolling. I will, as soon as I see a trolling comment, I'm gonna delete it right away. And, um, yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that. Like and comment down below if you like this video and want more. Subscribe. I would love to have more subscribers. I'm just starting out with this Let's Play thing. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. See ya.